you hire like not a professional photographer. And I'm caught up, now I'm standing in front of Steve Vai, he's presenting to Nirno, it gets very emotional. To watch these two men, the respect they have for each other, which you will see, is amazing. So, I get caught up in the moment, they hug, and I decide, oh that was so good, and I hit stop. And it was so nice of the technician to be able to finish the video by, of course I started it up again to get Nuno's reply. So I'd like you to watch this without further ado. Please look at the video prompt, because I know we didn't have the screen that you'll see this on. And please enjoy this moment. It is something to see. Okay, so I have to tell you a little story. I think you're going to get a kick out. Okay. So my 30th wedding anniversary came, right? So I had to figure out something special to get my wife. I bought her a horse, but not just any normal horse. I got her a Portuguese bullfighting stallion from Portugal. The house came in, the horse came in from Portugal, and it was sent down to Bellflower in that Portuguese community that you go to a kitchen. You know that one? You go there, you hang out, you play there. And you bullfight. In the bullfight, well, we bought a horse that was from Portugal for her. And this, I gotta tell you about this. This is, a, this is a, a actual bullfighting stallion, and this horse is so unique. First of all, it's, it's gorgeous, right? It's totally, it's compact, it's tight, it's feisty, it's got this amazing long uh, mane, and my wife is madly in love with this horse, and it's 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 tough. It's really a tough animal. Like with all the other horses. It, it knows where it needs to go, regardless of what any of the horses are doing, and it goes there. And it doesn't mess around, and you can't mess around with this horse because it doesn't mess around. But it's got this side to it, this horse, that is just so uh, engaged, and, and like she'll sit and she'll talk to you. And the horse is like talking back with its body, because it's got that breath of, of compassion, right? This is her Portuguese, bullfighting stallion. And I said, what's what's the name of your Portuguese bullfighting stallion? And she said, uh, Brioso Diamante, which means beautiful diamond, right? And I said, no, the name of your Portuguese bullfighting stallion is Luna. <laughs> because I think of you because there's so many traits in this horse that remind me of you, you know? But besides that, and you can edit here if you want. One of the nicest things I've ever said about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, it's true. You know, sometimes, do you ever like, you ever like, uh, look back and think, what would your life, or what would the scene be, what would the music or whatever be if a particular person never made that contribution, if they just weren't there? Do you just think there'd be this emptiness in, in the whole overview of your enjoyment of that music. And I've been so so fortunate in the last I don't know, 30 years to have you as a comrade. And we never really got to know each other until this tour because you don't know really somebody until you're out in the bus. There's no secrets at sea. And I am I cannot be more grateful that I got to know you on a level that you just don't know even as a fan or anything. Unbelievable unbelievably um, intuitive and passionate about what he does. And besides the fact that there's a motherfucker on the guitar. <laughs> bad, bad boy. And to be able to tour with him like this is really a great honor. But the contribution that you've made, sometimes we don't see it. And whatever the award is, it's nice. But the contribution is the thing that really matters. And you, my friend, I made mean, such a vital contribution to all of us, not only in the guitar community, but your creativity flows into so many people around the world. We don't know. We, we never really understand. But I can tell you from a 30,000 foot view. Thank you. Wow. Oh my God. I'm crying. And I want to give you this award in recognition to the Rock God's Hall of Fame that you belong in. Wow. Wow. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. That, that was super emotional, but uh, but I don't know what makes somebody a rock god. I really, I really don't know. I know, I know who uh, we call rock gods, but uh, 
And after what Steve just said, it's, uh, it basically comes down to everything he just said, which is, we, we think we start on our journey uh, to do something that's just almost a little bit self-centered. We just want to be great guitar players, and we just want to be as good as our idols. And then we, a, a wonderful thing happens. You need your idols, <laughs> and you hang with your idols, and you share the stage with them, and you realize, wow, the guitar was just an excuse. It was just an excuse to communicate, it was an excuse to get to know somebody, it was an excuse to, to, to hang out with them and get to know their families, and you know, so the words are so blessed to, to get this. Thank you so much, and blessed to be on this tour, Generation X, with Steve especially, and uh, I don't know, I, I think Steve, Steve is up there with the greatest, the greatest of all time, and one day when I truly grow up, I want to be like him. Thank you, Steve. Thanks for this, I appreciate it. We got a show to do. We got a show to do.